is that? I don't know. Ah, it looks like Karen is here. Oh my god, what the hell does she want? Who knows? You want to play rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to argue with her? Sure. Rock, rock paper, 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 grenade scissors. launcher. You can't just make up your... You know what? I don't even care. She's all yours. Thank you. Karen, to what do I owe this displeasure? Katrina, I see you chose to walk here instead of flying in on your broom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I'm here because one of the other duty moms at school informed me that your boys weren't including my son Hunter <gasps> in their recess activities and instead made him go play with that sarcastic wino mom's daughter, Riley, and her dolls. Hey! That is Miss Sarcastic Wino to you. Hmm. Why don't I call my boys so they can explain? Yeah, how about you do that? Boys? Da? Da, mother? Explain why you did not let Hunter <laughs> play with you two at recess. Oh, simple. We were playing playground warfare tactics. As one does, da? Da, and Hunter opted out of playing with us so he decided to play dolls with Riley. Pretty much, yeah. Hmm. Simple explanation. <laughs> well, they're obviously lying, right, Hunter? Uh. <laughs> See? You've rendered him speechless. Just tell Riley to keep her dolls away from my son. I can speak. It's all a facade, really. The more my mother assumes I'm shy or illiterate, the less she feels the need to converse with me. Which is good, because she is insufferable. As for the playground situation, why would I play silly, messy, aggressive games with the boys when I can have a spot of tea with Riley, Barbie, and Ken? We have very constructive, intelligent conversation. It's true! Yes. Oh, Chad just said he has a surprise outside. Are they? What is it? Oh my god. Oh, huh? The new whip! Oh god. Where did you find this? Oh, they were practically giving her away at the police auction. Why, Chad? I'll be great when I babysit the little dudes. Super spacious, super private, no windows. Could even put a candy station back there. And we could do ice cream. Some big brain ideas, little dude. Don't encourage Chad. Also, I figured I could wrap it like the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. Mm-hmm. But since the kids always sleep when I'm driving them around, I was thinking the kid napping machine. Do you hear yourself? Why you always gotta harsh my mellow, Janet? The kidnapping machine. The kidnapping machine. The kidnapping machine. Yeah, the kidnapping machine. Ja oh, I hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it back. Or torch it. Yeah. Honda Civic next time. Hey, your hair looks really nice. What's your problem? What? I'm just complimenting you. I can't do Is that a crime? Since when do you compliment me? You want something, don't you? What's the catch? There's no catch. Just take the compliment. Huh, it's just a little hard to believe because yesterday you told me I look like the female version of William H. Macy, so. I was joking. And he's not even that bad looking. You know he is. Well, he makes up for it with his personality and his humor. Which you lack. You know what? Oh my god, I came in here and I genuinely thought your hair looked nice. Okay, just take the freaking compliment. Thank you. I actually just got it done. I was gonna do like full platinum, but then I thought I'd keep it more natural, do some highlights, you know, so thanks. That's great. And on a completely unrelated note, I need a ride to a party. Uh, yeah, two tickets for the movies, please. Sure, so one adult and child. Uh, no, she's actually under three, so she's free. But mom, I'm eight. I mean, I'm three. Yeah. She looks a little older than three. You know what, she's actually, she's got a condition and it's, it makes her look older than what she is. It's older than she looks at Titus. That's a new one, okay. And is there any uh, candy in your bag, ma'am? Oh, I, it, I like to bring a change of clothes. I sweat a lot in the theater, so it's just, yeah. Mm-hmm, okay, just go ahead. Oh, this is itchy. You know what, this actually isn't my kid, so I'm... <laughs> Hi, Janet, thank you for coming in. Yeah, let's hurry this up, because I'm running late for a three o'clock range time with Katrina. Oh, you golf. <laughs> what the hell is Janet? 
Tia. So what did Riley do exactly? Right, so we had one of our playground duty moms report that Riley said to her, how long do I have to wait until you burst into your natural demon form? Mm hmm Oh, and here's the duty mom now. Janet? Oh, it's Karen. Okay. No one you late. I know it's a bit of a trek crawling up all the way from the depths of hell. <laughs> this is making more sense now. Your daughter's just as trashy as her mother. Oh, that's rich coming from somebody that just yelled homophobic slows to me and Katrina the other day. Mm, too bad your girlfriend isn't here to back you up. Hmm, I think she is. What? <gasps> okay, I think we're fine here. Yeah, Riley, let's go. Oh, hey. Okay, kids, get in the car. <gasps> shotgun, shotgun. I said it first. I said it first. It doesn't even matter. You're the size of a chicken nugget. You can't even fit in the front seat. No, I'm not. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> I'll see you in the front seat. Here's your guys' food. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh, damn. What? Oh, I asked for no cilantro, but there's cilantro. Oh, I'll just call the waitress back over. We'll send it back. No! Why? It's fine. It's... I... It's fine. What do you mean? You hate cilantro. It's no big deal. For the love of God, please stop. It's no big deal. Yes, it is. Okay? You call the waitress over, okay? She comes over. I tell her she screwed up my meal. Now she's embarrassed. She hates us, okay? She goes back to the kitchen. She tells Jimmy, the line cook, who screwed up my meal, to recook my meal, okay? He was on strike two with his manager, and now he's fired, okay? So he goes home to his pregnant wife and his toddler, Timmy, right? And he has to tell them that he's fired now, okay? He was also two years sobriety, and now he's back to the drink. This is getting kind of dark. Fast forward two months, his wife's had the baby, but Jimmy's drunk all the time, so she leaves him. Listen, and now Timmy the toddler grows up without a dad. He's an adult now, and he has nothing but resentment for his father. But why does he have that resentment, Kendra? Because of cilantro Karen at the restaurant 20 years previous where his dad got fired, okay? So now he grows up, and now his sole purpose in life is to find cilantro Karen, a.k.a. me, and kill me. Are you done? Yes, I am done, and I'm gonna eat this cilantro-filled meal so Timmy can grow up with a dad, okay? How's everything tasting? So good. Great. You need therapy. Yeah, I know. Hey there, Mom. What are you doing up? It's like 3 a.m. Um, the only excuse I'll allow for you waking me up at 3 a.m. is the fact that it's the witching hour and you're either already possessed or the demons figured out that you're already one of them. It's 3 p.m. Oh, what? Oh, I don't even remember going to bed last night. Are you experiencing an amnesia gap? What? No, how do you know what that is? That's what Detective Benson on Law & Order said the murderer experienced before she killed her husband. Why are you watching Law & Order? You woke me up last night and told me to watch it with you. Serious? I don't remember any of that. I gotta lay off the below. That's also what the murderer said on the stand. Okay, we're not gonna repeat anything that happened last night or today to anyone, okay? Fresh start. That's also what the murderer said to her accomplice on the security tapes. Okay, no more Law & Order for you. Nice place. Yeah, totally. Oh my god. What? It's that guy from the other night that I told you about. The one that- yeah. And then he- yep, that's the guy. Okay. Now stop, sit down, sit down. It's fine. It's- it's fine. Oh, oh, okay, so if what he did is fine, then I guess second degree murder is fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna- What are you gonna do? Kill him with a spoon? I can try. Shut up. Sit down. Seriously. Let's just pretend he doesn't exist. Fine. Great. And we could do that by making him simply not exist. Chris. I'm just gonna talk to him. No. I'm just gonna talk to him. No, you're I'm not. just gonna talk to him. Chris, seriously. I'm just gonna unalive him. Wait, what? What's up, you waste of oxygen? Hey, you wanna come play Nintendo with me? No. Come on! Oh my, I just beat it. I'll beat you. Yeah? I could easily overpower you. You want to see power? What the hell are you doing? My baby. Hear those footsteps? What? 
pizza, Mom? Yeah. And I say we got about 10 seconds before she comes in here and I tell her you roundhouse kicked me in the face. What? No! Or maybe I caught you smoking the devil's lettuce and you beat me to shut me up. You're insane. Maybe. Two seconds left. Okay, I'll play with you. What happened? What did you do? I... Nothing, mother. I just twipped. Oh. Okay. If you say so, carry on. You can't unplug my controller when we're playing. Fine. And I get to be Mario. No, what? That's mine! Round two? No, no, okay, okay, fine. That's what I thought. Fucking psycho. Hey, you wanna go out somewhere with me? No. Well, maybe we can go to the movies or something. Oh my, you're like a needy little baby. I don't want to be seen with you. Get out. Hey, um, I was going to go to the mall or something. Do you want to go with me? Uh, I'm kind of busy. I could take you to Taco Bell too, my treat. I'm your only friend, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Sad. Yeah, I'll go with you. Cool. Hello? Huh? Bex is here. I'll get it. What? Oh my god, she's here. Quick, how do I smell? Like fishy crackers. And anxiety. Yeah, he does. My love for Bex is still immeasurable. I need to impress her. Do you guys have any X body spray? Bex, thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. Yeah, no problem. My band, You're Not My Dad's Gate, got cut short because the place lit up. Oh, it got a little too rowdy or, or lit, as the kids say. <laughs> no, the place literally went up in flames. Uh, oh, oh, dear God. I... Stop that. Why are you smiling? My therapist told me I should try to smile more. Yeah, no. No, don't do that. Usually people smile when they're happy or something funny happens, and given the information you just gave me, you probably shouldn't be doing that. I thought it was kind of funny. She said smiling made me look more approachable. Yeah, no, it makes you look more like you're gonna bust your head through my front door and say, here's Johnny. Okay, I'm going to keep my cool. Yeah, just act normal. Da, and just don't say anything stupid. Da. All right, kids, I'll see you later. Have fun with Bex. Hey. Did you know that 43% of your total cells in your body are actually you and the other half is just foreign viruses, fungi, and bacteria? That's funny. <laughs> hey, Chris, can you pass me some apple juice, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Thanks. Don't worry, I'll get it. There we go. Thanks. H who are you? <laughs> it's your brother, me, Jacob. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Riley, can you get that? Yeah. Heyo, Scout Weeder Boone. Hey there, kiddo. Your mom around? Maybe. Uh, can, can I see her? Mom! Much obliged. You look like someone on TV. <laughs> well, I get that a lot. Usually Matthew McConaughey from Dallas Buyers Club. No. Well, or Tom Selleck. No. More like every main suspect on Dateline. Hmm. You find a little maggot, aren't you? My Nona says not to trust anybody with a mustache. Well, your Nona is misinformed. Trust me. I don't. Because you have a mustache. Sorry, sorry. Boone? Did Riley do something bad at day camp? No. 
No. She's a treat. I merely came here to inquire about taking you out onto the town. Are you asking me out? That I am. I'm seeing someone, so... Well, can you see someone else, too? <laughs> you can see the door slam in your face, all right? Plain hard to get. I like that. <sighs> so weird. It's the mustache. Can't trust them. Nope. Hey, my little linguine, can you come over here? What's up, Ma? I don't know my password. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to- You do it! Well, I, I don't know your password, Ma. Why did I even bother having children? Okay, what do you think your password was? I don't know. The internet guy came over and told me to use something that I hated so no one would ever guess it. Uh, okay, uh, so what do you hate? Oh my- Where do I start? Loud chewing? Okay. People who think they don't need to wash their feet in the shower and they just let that nasty debris soap and water fall onto their feet and then they ask you for a foot massage later, Ernie. You can't make me do it, Irene! Uh, people yeah. who start a sentence with no offense and people that don't cover their mouth when they sneeze. I hope Satan's got a front row seat safe for those assholes downstairs, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Them, along with people that drive the speed limit in the left lane. What are you doing? Move over, okay? I'm trying to go Mach 5 to church. Move. And for the people that are gluten-free and make me feel bad for eating all the bread at Olive Garden. I like bread, Tiffany. I like bread. Ma. And when there's someone at the grocery store standing right in front of the thing that you need so you pretend you don't need it and you wait for them to move but they're standing there for so long so you gotta do this awkward reach over thing and say sorry, sorry, and then they say sorry, now they feel bad. I hate that. I hate that so much. Great. <sighs> Great. Are any of those the password? No. Perfect. Oh, I hate this. Your password was forgetting your password. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my God. Hello? What's up? What are you eating? Mom made cookies. Oh, sick. This is the last one. Get out of my room. I'm not in your room. Yes, you are! I'm not even penetrating the threshold! Yes, you are! No, I'm not. Look, penetrated, not penetrated, penetrated, not penetrated, penetrated, not penetrated. Can you please penetrate. stop saying penetrate? Penetrate. If I can see you, you're still in my room. Oh, pff, with that logic, if I see Henry Cavill through my TV, he's my husband. What? No, 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 what? No! Are you sure? Pretty sure. Damn. I'm still not in your room. Get out! Fine! Thank you. I am ready for my date night. How do I look? Whoa. You look beautiful. Oh, pff. Stop. No, like, I don't even recognize you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you usually look so tired and dull. What? And you don't smell like spicy juice or sadness. I usually smell like sa sadness as a smell? And your skin is glowing. Is it not always glowing? <laughs> Let's just say sometimes when you're sweeping, I check your pulse to make sure you're not dead. So I'm gonna take that as a no. Is that your Halloween costume? Halloween? No, I'm going to a What do you think I'm trying to be for Halloween? A catfish? Okay. I'm here. Oh, Riley, who's your pretty friend? Who are you talking? It's me. Oh, wow. I did not even realize you could look like that. Right? Okay, that's it. I'm not going. Miss, are you my Uber? Oh, yes, me. I'm the Uber. Hop in. Great. Amanda. Oh, uh, I'm a... Like a man. Duh. <laughs> okay. But I'm not a man. Got it. I'm actually from across the pond, but I ran out of money. So, Uber. Good for you. So, where are you going? Uh, yeah, 2235 Acorn Street. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No, I don't know what that is. You don't have a GPS or anything? Oh, yeah, see, I would, but I can't afford it. I don't have any money. Right, right. But if you could give me, like, a point of interest, like a building or, or a restaurant, I could pinpoint it in my head. Yeah, sure, it's, uh... Like, is it by a Chick-fil-A? Because that's where I go for lunch every day. It's not even close. It's by the museum, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, then? No, don't know where that is. Oh my God. Do you know where it is? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Maybe you could drive then. Is, is that, is, am I allowed to Great. even? Oh, and can we stop at Chick-fil-A? Because you kind of came in at my lunchtime. Uh, but we can grab you some too. <sighs> I guess. Cool. Would you be able to pay for it? Because I don't have any money. Because you don't have yeah. any money. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go, okay? Here, just take some money. Oh, what? I'm done. No, I'm done. no, I, no, no. Come back. What's the fifth sucker today? <laughs> yeah, you just had to get a new couch. Oh, okay. here we go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, perfect. Chris, do you like the new couch that I got? <laughs> uh, I, I don't. Yes? Tell your father that. But he's right there. Tell him. I like the new couch. No, how about you tell your mother just because something's on sale doesn't mean we need a new one. Uh, okay. Dad says You that... tell him that letting the dog up on the couch and spilling food on it for ten years straight made it look like a dumpster find. Can you repeat that, please? Oh, and who spilled the wine, Kara? Who spilled it? Oh, and who's the reason I drank? <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you even up right now? And did you finish that project? Uh. Yeah, and I still see dishes in the sink? Yes, and I asked you to do those dishes yesterday and they're still sitting the in the sink. amount of disrespect in this household. I just can't believe it. I just, I just, I can't even. All right, Riley, what do you want to be for Halloween this year? A unicorn? No. Okay, uh, do you want to be Elsa again? Nope. Okay, well, I'm not a mind reader, so what do you want to be? This. Are you serious? Yep. No, this costume's like a hundred dollars. There's no way. Please? Okay, well, I can't buy it, so we can improvise. Are they? Trick or treat! Oh, well, don't you all just look precious. And you are a... A cowboy. Here you go. And you are... Oh, a little astronaut. Here you go, honey. And you are... Oh, what are you exactly, Riley? I'm Batman. Oh, yeah, right. Is that a garbage bag on her head? Yeah. Okay. Well, what would you like, Riley? I'm Batman. I mean, Batman, what kind of candy would you like? Justice. Just give her a Snickers or something. Okay. And did you use used hard seltzer cans for ears? Well, we're going to head out. Okay, come on, Riley. Where is she? Did you really have to go full method with this? Yeah. Oh, my God. Justin. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> Are you my Uber? Yeah, I'll pin. Great. I'm Amanda. Katrina. No, Amanda. My name is Katrina. Oh, yeah, right, right. My nan's name's Katrina. Great. Yeah, she's dead. Sorry to hear that. She got that. hit by a bus. Oh. And then a car. That's... But it's funny, because what took her out was a kid on a bicycle behind the bus and the car. Like a speed bump. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah, she was chasing down one of the chickens that escaped from the pen. Yeah, so we tend to stay away from chicken crossing the road jokes at family reunions. Right. You got a funny accent. Where are you from? I am from Russia. Oh, you guys got that leader. Poutine, isn't it? No, that is not how you say Oh, I love poutine. Not your poutine, but poutine. Now I'm hungry. Little cheese, gravy and chips. You would not make it in Russia. What would I make in Russia? Can we go? I am late to see my girlfriend. Oh, you got a girlfriend. I had a boyfriend. He died. Yeah, he's burning up in hell with me, nan. Because get this. I'm shaking my nan day before she died you know what i don't want to know yeah shame shame ironically he died by getting run over too it was my fault i let the chicken out wow i knew there was cars on the road and i knew she'd chase that chicken because she loved that chicken more than me then i told my boyfriend to go check if she was alive and i did that knowing there was a truck barreling down the road road pizza oh my god you know it feels good to get it off my chest we should go get chick-fil-a you know, for some reason, I've lost my appetite, so I'm gonna go. Oh, what? No. Oh, no. 
good. I did not want to drive anyway. Who's that? Oh, your playdate's here, Hunter. Yay! Hey, Hunter, come on in. Uh, come on, Hunter, let's go. Karen. Janet. I hate that woman with every goddamn fiber in my body. But my therapist told me I need to start working on being nicer to people that I don't like. So I'm working on it. Honestly, I'm surprised you're up before noon and not hungover. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm actually up pretty early most days, and, and it's a Tuesday, so. I think she bought it. Also, why are the lights so goddamn bright? Can I get some sunglasses and an Advil in here? Wow, look at you turning a new leaf. <laughs> well, I'll be back at five to pick up Hunter, because I'm sure you have a happy hour to go to or something. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. But I do have a charity event to go to later, actually. Really? Yeah. Hey, Mom, are we still going to Applebee's for happy hour at five? Can Hunter come? Uh, it's, it's actually a new charity, Saving the Bees charity, where you, where you dunk for apples and in, and you get money by dunking for the ap ap apples and you give them to the bees to save them. Uh-huh. You know what, you f***ing passive-aggressive You come here to my house, you talk to me like I'm a piece of shit, okay? You're the piece of shit. I think I possibly might need a couple more therapy sessions. Thanks for watching the kids for us, Ma. Bah. Oh, no problem. Honestly, it's nice to get out of the house. Ernie's hearing's getting so bad when he listens to his music, it makes my living room sound like a goddamn mosh pit. <laughs>
I wanted to see what it tasted like. Yeah, that's what I thought. You wouldn't believe the information I can get out of some people. It's like it's a seventh sense or something, you know? What? I am smiling. Yeah. I wanted to see... Swear to God. Do we have superpowers? Yeah, I think so. I'm convinced. 100%. What number am I thinking of? Uh, 23. No. Damn. Damn. Hey, Mom, I'm going over to Alex's. Nah. You make your bed? Yeah. You do your laundry? Yes. You clean your room? Yep. Yeah. All done. No. What? Okay, Mom, I'm heading over to Sarah's. Did you make your bed? Yes. You did your laundry? Yes. And you cleaned your whole room? Yes. I'm gonna check. Seriously? Okay, Mom, I'm out. Oh, fun! Oh, oh, and I did your laundry, I made your bed, and I cleaned your room. I don't know if you, if you noticed. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, laundry for next time. Let's start hanging up the shirts rather than folding them. It gets a little wrinkly. Right. You know I like the sheets of my bed tucked under, so let's shape up on that, all right? Got it. Why are you writing this down? Oh, I... Okay, okay. See you when I see you. Have fun! Are you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the Uber. I'll be in. Great. Amanda. Bex. With two X's. Oh, uh, like shot for Rebecca. No. So you just popped out your mom's fanny and she looked at you and thought, yeah, that's a Bex with two X's if I've ever seen one. No. Oh, did you change your name? Yeah. Hey, no judgment there. I did it too, believe it or not. You want to know what my name was? No. I'll tell you. Last name Dickoff, okay? First name Tara. Tara Dickoff. I got Can it. Can you believe it? Yeah, the boys in school wouldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole. They took my name literally. Oh my god. You know, looking back, I think me mom and dad did it on purpose. Can we go? Yeah, where you headed? My band is playing in an abandoned car lot uptown. Oh, well, band? Cool. What's the name of your band? You're not my dad. Hey, I never claimed to be or have ever been your dad's. I was just asking your band's name. You're not my dad. Hey, with an attitude like that, I'm not moving this car, okay? You better apologize or you're not going to that event, young lady. If I ever talked to my dad like that, he'd be smacking me sideways on Sunday with a spatula. You gotta respect your... F Ungrateful. What's going on here? Interrogation. What did they do? One of these little criminals spilled juice on the carpet and I'm trying to figure out which one of them did it. Oh. It has been 42 minutes and they still have not broken. <laughs> you bribe them with McDonald's? Da. Candy? Da. Hmm. Ice cream? Da. Huh. Did you threaten them? <laughs> Incessantly. Okay, I was joking. They won't oh. even take a plea deal. Wow, okay, uh, well, this, this is a problem. I have never been so proud. Exactly. What? First rule of interrogation, kids? Snitches get stitches. stitches. That's right. And second? Spill the tea on top of the sea. Very good. Dismissed. This is what we're teaching our kids. Wait, what about the carpet stain? What? Juice and wine, cold water and soap is fine. Ah, you listen. Exactly. 
Ja. I don't want to know. Hey. Hey, was the shower on? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you just said you had to go to the bathroom. I did. I just wanted to see what your water pressure was like, too. <laughs> okay. Why, did you hear anything else? No. Good, because I just want to pee, so. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Babe. What's up? Guess. Oh, this big? More. This big? More. Seriously? This much? Yeah. Holy shit! I know. That's gonna be like a world record or something. I know. I think it was the Taco Bell. I don't know. That's crazy. Two pounds lighter. Crazy. Yeah, I sent you a picture. Nice. Um, excuse me, is this seat taken? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, great. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sitting. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, no. No, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, you said it wasn't taken. <laughs> yeah, I did, and uh, we're just gonna keep it that way, okay? <laughs> uh, I don't understand. I am not willing to run the risk of you wanting to engage in small talk or the accidental occasional awkward eye contact. I physically cannot do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what if I just, uh... No. Well, can I just... No. <laughs> Bye! Oh, it's uh, Casey and Sam. I invited them over. When did you do that? I don't know. I texted with them like 10 minutes ago. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, uh, I only agreed upon interacting with one person a day, and that is you. So I'm going to head out. <laughs> oh, come on. They're chill. My social battery has already completely depleted just at the thought of two extra human beings being in this room. Okay? Oh, please. And honestly, the thought of going home early has been the most exciting part of this evening. So can't let myself down. See you later. Okay, well, why are you going out the back door? Yeah, I'm not risking running into them. Don't tell them I said hi. Hey, do you think this outfit's okay? Oh, it's very cute, sweetie. Okay. Okay. What? Where are you going? Throwing these clothes away. Honey, I think you look adorable. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Riley, take a look at the menu. See what you want. Mode. Hi, I'm Ocean, and welcome to Earth, the Earth's best granola and smoothie bar. Oh, well, the Earth's best smoothie bar. Who gave you that title? We did. Oh, well, I don't think you can just call yourself the Earth's best. It's kind of false advertising, but... <laughs> we here at Earth believe if you manifest enough, write it down and put it out into the world, it'll happen. Oh, right. So if I write down on a piece of paper and manifest that I want to go back in time and undo all the mistakes I made, it'll happen? Me! Not you! Of course. Anything can happen. So you're saying I can manifest time travel? It's very possible. Wow. Okay. Uh, Riley, what do you want? A pineapple smoothie, please! Oh, good choice. Pineapple is said to help with stress and depression. I think my mom should have that one. Hey! You know what? She's right. I'm seeing a very red, aggressive aura around you right now. Oh, really? What tipped your spiny senses off? The obviously sarcastic, annoyed tone in my voice or the vein popping out of my forehead? Ma'am, I do have to tell you this is a red aura free zone, so if you could just take a couple deep breaths, that would be great. <laughs> You know what? Just give us our food and we'll get out of here. Okay, we'll have one pineapple smoothie and I'll get the earth granola bowl. <gasps> Good choice. It's made with organic, vegan, grain-free, sugar-free, fat-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, non-paraben, non-homophobic ingredients. What's it made out of? Grass? And freshly ground wood chips, yeah. Okay, you know what? Just two pineapple smoothies is good. Okay. Good choice. That'll be $68.25. $68? What does it come with? Henry Cavill freshly squeezing the pineapple between his thighs directly into my mouth? Unfortunately, no. That is a good alternative to not using cups, though. The smoothies are free! Excuse me? I manifested that the smoothies would be free. You got it. I raised you right. Hey, I'm here to sign up to uh, be a volunteer. Yeah, great, just need your name. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, but seriously, I need your name. Yeah, I don't know. 
You don't know. No, I don't know. You don't know your own name. Yes, I do. Okay, what is it? I don't know. You just said you do. Yeah, I don't know. How do you not know your own name? I do. What is it? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Oh my God, forget this. What is your last name? Okay, beats me. You're telling me you don't know your last name either? Beats me. Beats you? Beats me. How? How what? How do you not know your name? I do. What is it? I don't know, beats me. Hey man, I haven't seen you since high school. How are you? Great. Oh, thank God, you know her. Okay, what's her name? Yeah, I don't know, beats me. So you're old friends, but you don't know her name? Yeah, I do, I don't know. So you do or you don't? I do, I don't know, beats me. What is happening? Oh, that's my mom's name. What is? What is happening? I don't know. Yeah, what's up? What? You said my name. What did I say? I don't know. Well, I think you need to calm down and be a little bit more like, I don't know. More chill like who? Like, I don't know. Like you don't remember who or? No, like, I don't know. Me. You? Yeah, I don't know. I get it from my mom. What is happening? I don't know. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I quit. Wonder what made him crack. I don't know. Yeah, what's up? I don't know. Yeah, what? I don't know. Well, you don't need to raise your voice to me, okay? I'm just answering you. <laughs> what is happening? Whoa, why you gotta bring my mom into this? Well, this is fun. All the kids playing in the backyard. We got the pool. And where's where's your daughter? Hmm, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh my God, is that her? Hmm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is she okay? Oh, no, she's just playing dead in the pool. W why? We stopped asking those questions a while ago. Okay. Are, are you sure she's okay? 80% sure. Uh, I'll check. Ow! Yeah, see, she's fine. <laughs> she doesn't want to play with the other girls. No. No, she's, she's having the time of her life over there. Okay. Mom, can I have some more candy? No, you can't have candy until you get home. I don't need you bouncing off the walls in here. But- No, not another word until we get home. <sighs> oh, great. <sighs> you know you were speeding, ma'am? Oh, I had no idea, officer. I, I really like your uniform, though. <laughs> My husband likes it, too. Damn it. License registration. I'll look for it. Mm-hmm. Hey there, little missy. Mama's going a little fast, eh? You okay? She said I'm not allowed to speak. What? Not until we get home. And then she promised me candy. She said- What? Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. What? Why? Step out. Okay, what I do? Listen, officer, we can talk about this, okay? You know what? You know what? I got a twin sister. She might have done something, but it, it wasn't me. I swear to God. No. Hey, guys. This is David. Nice to meet you guys. Oh, hi, David. I like that name, David. It's biblical. Did you go to church, David? Mom, it's just a question. Oh, uh, when I was a kid and uh, sometimes on holidays. Fantastic. He's handsome. Listen, Danny. David. Dylan. Have you ever been to prison? No, sir. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not afraid to go. <laughs> Dad! Just think about it, boy. Oh, <laughs> how's your relationship with your mother, David? Uh, Mom, okay, we're leaving. Go, it's great go, to meet go, you. Go. I, I like, like him. him. Going to work, honey. Oh, no, stay. Let's have some fun. Oh, you... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, honey, I'm going to work. Okay. Oh, I need to reschedule our usual Tuesday at 7 p.m. hot and steamy hanky panky session. No! No, you did this last Tuesday. You can't keep postponing. I know, but I told Renee I'd go to the movies with her tonight. <sighs> what time is the movie? 7.30. Counter proposal. I'm listening. We skip positions one and three, go straight to two and four, and I'll get you out of here by 7.15. I'd rather stick with one and just go straight to four. But you love to. Mm-hmm. What? It's not the best. That's not what you said last Tuesday. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. This relationship is just built on the throne of lies. So does that mean you're canceling our session tonight? No. But now we are only doing three because I can't look at your face. Okay. 
And you better bring me back some movie popcorn. Fine. <laughs> She's definitely going to postpone. Hey, Ma. Hey, your sister told me that you and Riley are going to the movies later and I thought I'd invite myself along. Uh... No, we're not going to the movies anymore, actually. Oh, that's too bad. I was gonna bring snacks. I got a potato salad in the fridge that's about to expire. Oh, yeah, that's that's too bad. Uh, but yeah, no, we're not going, okay? Talk to you later. Bye. We're not going to the movies. Yeah, we're still going. But you just told Nona we weren't. I told Nona a white lie. A white why? It's a harmless little lie that protects her feelings because I personally didn't want to listen to her ask a hundred questions during the entire movie, but I don't want her to know that. Oh, okay. Okay, you ready to go? Yep. Great. Uh, how do I look? Great! Thanks. Did I do it right? Do what right? A white lie. A white lie? <laughs>